Hi all. So let's start today's class. Let me share my screen. So in the last class, I believe we have completed uh, till organization structure, right? We have completed uh, how to create the plant company code and uh, purchasing organization and how to assign them. So we have completed till that, right? So today we are going to look into the master data. Okay, so what is the master data? So basically in SAP, we have different kind of master data. So as all of you know, what is a master data? So master data is required. Uh, so like we are just setting this master data. So these are kind of required data that is needed for creating, let's say different kinds of purchasing scenario we need to develop. So for that, we need some master data for that. So this is only created once for a while. So once we will be creating the master data, so inside the master data, so we will be having, let's say material master. Okay, we'll be having vendor master. Okay, then we will be having purchasing info record. Then we will be having source list record. Okay. Then we will be having quota arrangement. Then we will be having service master. Okay, then we will be having batch master. Then we will be having condition record. Okay, so we'll be having these kind of master data. We will be having inside our SAP. So we will be starting from the material master. Okay. So next come to material master. So material master, what is a material master? Normally the information related to a material. So we are procuring some kind of material. So whatever information we need on the basis of a material let's say what should be the name of the material what should be the let's say weight of the material what should be the let's say unit of the material let's say whatever uh, price of the material like every information that we need to um, have for creating a procurement scenario let's say we need to create a purchasing document let's say purchase order for that whatever information we need all of the things will be stored inside the material master. So it is related to material. Every information or all information will be stored inside the material master. Okay. So the information required for the material Okay, so whatever information is required for creating a purchasing document or procurement, those all kind of information will be available inside the material master. So inside the material master, what are the different types of materials are there for that? We will be having a material type. Okay, so what is the material type? So material type is basically, let's say you will be having, uh, let's take an example. So let's say you are manufacturing a mobile. Okay. To manufacturing a mobile, let's say you will be needing some, let's say some outer component will be needed. 
okay some chips will be needed like the motherboard and all the let's say electronic chips will be required right and uh, you will be needing let's say some um, uh, let's say some metal parts also are needed to uh, prepare the cabinet or any kind of thing you are preparing so for that some metallic parts are also there so let's say all of these kind of things you will be needing to create a mobile okay so let's say some parts let's say the outer body let's say the outer body is made from a plastic material okay so let's say you are using the plastic outer cover so let's say that is made from another material okay so you can call let's say the plastic outer body you can call it as a semi finished material right it is not a like it is not a raw material or the material is not in the raw form it is on like something has been developed it will be a part of some other component so that will be called as a let's say semi finished material okay so as per the material let's say characteristic we will be dividing the material into the different different material type let's say some material will be having as a raw material some material we will be having as a semi finished material some materials will be having as a finished material finished material means that material directly we can consume or directly we can use that material so that is called a finished material okay next uh, let's say there will be some material some trading materials will be there okay we will not manufacture or we will not do anything but that will be traded means that will be sold from your company so that is called a trading material so there will be as per the characteristic of the material we can categorize it into the different type okay so that's why we have this material type inside the material master okay so this material type will control some of the functionality of the material master okay so this material type will control some of the functions of the material so what are those okay so first let's see what is a material type so i believe no need to write down the definition over here because i will provide you the definitions over like on a separate time i will provide you that because it will consume more time that if we go to the definition part over here okay so you can read the uh, like the definition part you can read it um, afterwards i will share you the notes okay so you can read it from there or you can study it from there but right now if we go to into the like uh, details of definition it will take some time okay so that's why uh, we will not go into the definition okay so basically you understand the concept of material type right or anyone having any doubt no right no doubt no. okay so basically material type has a control function so we call it a control function so control function means what material type will control in material master okay so first thing is number range so first thing is number range so number range will be internal means your system will define it or external external uh, sorry internal or external like your system will uh, show you the number range or it will assign the number range by default or you need to put the number range manually by yourself or user need to enter the number range by themselves so that is called internal or external number ranges okay the second one is field selection okay so what are the field selection let's say some fields will be uh, it will be mandatory some fields will be optional so when uh, when we will be going inside the sap screen then we will be looking into that uh, what are the different kinds of let's say uh, what are the field selection and what is the functionality of this one we will see but right now okay so next one is the field selection so whatever fields are required or optional or mandatory that can we can decide on the basis of material type okay the next one is procurement type
so procurement type is also internal or external so basically if the material can be procured internally internally means we can produce that in house production let's say you are having a manufacturing unit so you can produce it inside your plant so that is called a internal procurement type and external procurement type is you are procuring from some vendor outside your uh, let's say plant or outside your company so that is called a external procurement type so this is also controlled by the material type let's say you are having a raw material you cannot prepare a raw material in the in your production house right you have to procure it from the outside right so that thing it will control like if the material type is a raw material then you cannot do the internal procurement you have to do the external procurement right so let's say there will be a material type let's say it is a finished material type so finished material type you cannot buy from outside okay so that you have to produce it inside your plant so that is a internal procurement type will be there for the finished goods okay so these are the procurement type control next one is screen selection screen selection means let's say whatever screen should be coming in the sequence or what screens are needed or what screens are not needed that all things will be decided by the material type okay the next one is user department okay so user department is also controlled by the material type so what are the user department let's say there will be sales department will be there there will be let's say uh, some purchasing department will be there there will be some let's say some uh, warehousing department will be there so departmental views will be there okay so inside the material master there will be different kind of views will be there okay so normally material type will control that one also let's say you are having a raw material so for the raw material you will be not having any department for the sales because you are not going to sell your raw material right you are going to purchase the raw material so similarly let's say any finished material you are not going to purchase the finished material so there will be no purchasing view will be there for the finished material there will be only sell view will be exist for that finished material right so these are the user department next one is let's say inventory management let's say the inventory management is possible or not that will be also decided by your material type right so there will be let's say some of the material let's say uh non valuated material will be there so for those kind of material you will be not going to store the material okay so for that there will be no inventory management is possible so inventory means we cannot do the let's say we cannot uh, go for the inventory like we are not going to store that material directly we are consuming that kind of material let's say some consumable materials will be there let's say you are using the hand gloves or you are using some kind of let's say packaging material so those kind of material those are not inventory related but they will be stored inside your store so whenever you need you directly consume it okay so like let's say you are uh, needing that uh, let's say gloves inside your uh, let's say plant or inside your production center or you are needing that uh, let's say your packaging material you are needing directly inside your uh, let's say production center so directly they are consumable materials okay we can, we do not have inventory management active for that thing okay so last one is valuation class so valuation class normally valuation classes are uh, it is the like uh, the material will be stored under the valuation class for material type so that valuation type what whatever valuations are allowed or not that is also controlled by the material type okay so these are the basic control functions of material type so material type will control these much of things let's say first one is the number range next one is the field selection next one is procurement type next one is screen selection next one is user department next one is inventory management next one is valuation class so definitely inside your interview might be you will be getting a question what are the control type of material function sorry what are the control function of material type
okay you might be getting these kind of question let's say there will be some different type of let's say question will be there like uh, let's say um, how you can control the field selection of a material or how you can control the procurement type of a material might be they will ask you different different questions on that but the basic thing is it will be related to material type okay so you need to remember what are the control function or material type what things will control the material type will control okay so you need to remember these points so definitely these are some important point you need to remember and you need to memorize it okay so just understand these kind of things definitely you will be getting some questions in the interview okay so basically this is the material master type so let's see in the sap screen let me just open this one 